delicious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. <laughs> I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is Head Radio Love Media Station. Just one of 900 radio stations, 300 TV stations, four network, three satellites, 10 senators. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. You're listening to Head Radio, the rock of Liberty City for 60 years. I'm DJ Michael Hunt taking you through another set of non-stop rock and pop. It's Head Radio. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEPOFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new My Boxing Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? Uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? What is on your mind? Burdens. 
root vegetables, you know, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of... This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's the Me and him go back, so I can probably get you some money. Come on, let's get over here. We'll start a game last night. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now runs around the house looking for gold coins. Get out! Teaching our children to go chase money. My little fans are playing this new video game called Polo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me. This is Luigi's Club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to Eight Ball, lady. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Pseudicals, we'll be back after these important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Saibatsu Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Today, Equinox becomes a special access to Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was...
city cocks rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next... Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller, you are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? No, oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff. Buy your own lottery ticket. You know, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, Lazlo. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved 
Road to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Lasso. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's, that's very different, it's rather worrying. What? Child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand that it's flat. So Freddy needs a nanny. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. His views are a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? What regular Luigi now? It's about time you got to try. It's an all-metal power. I find it liberating. I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, I wonder if wrestling's on tonight. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals. I'll be with you in a minute, Sparkplug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work. For you. Full array? Hey, I'm bored. When are you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, last way? That's a taste of corn on the cone. Oh, marvelous, great! I'm gonna go. Take your girlfriend. Oh, it's you. <laughs>
three. I played the trumpet a lot back then, if you know what I mean. How do it happen to Marcel? Every night at all the clubs. God, that one night was it Marcel? Who's Mary? Oh, sorry, I'm having one of those flashback, flashback, flashbacks. For people that just can't let go. Flashback FM. Tonight, the TV event that will make history. Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the... And he sees wife all fat, all no, early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about what you think about your pretty assistant. You already know that. See? Um, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and pretty eyes? Come here, go there, smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back into square one. My friend, you and a doubt. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something, I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Giving him what he needs, and I can throw him out. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife and place. What, so you act like a pimp? Come on. Not a pimp, little man. A savior. And he can throw... And, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hey, Laszlo, hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first...
genetically altered him. Get on the show. Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Yeah, been downtown. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. Do you come from? I am, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? Oh, from upstate, okay? To happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I... It's gonna be your funeral! You can't run away, huh? Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scumbag. He bitches in my backyard.
Mine is bigger. L I P S one O six. Commercial radio at its best and proud of it. Lips one oh six. Hey, this weekend, if you want to dance your ass off. Drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration not continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee seller? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on... Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their grain. a cow pasture and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar, Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, get your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean, oh, man! Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, meet Barry the Thumb. String puppets, glove puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. 
you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one size fits all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Clothes. W- what about them? Clothes. What are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone-in station, but why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's, as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Does it offend you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech and free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you... Look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have more members now for the first time. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who need- you got any bright ideas what to say? There's a place you can go. From radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest-growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to lunch. There's always people going on about problems.
payroll vans. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. And take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things. Like gazing at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu monstrosity, mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. 
All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Melissa. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my like, home irrigated. I just wanted to say something about you. And, you know, it's the highway, the World Wide Web. Good yeah, I know what it's all about. I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I'm Joe Leslie. I'm a regular visitor. Well, I don't. I buy it online, and then I'm using a special format, like a but while I'm dying. It's incredible. I also like tabs and cooking, and reality through the internet is really good for my hunt. I think it's amazing. I should go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy this. It's just not possible to this is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to see the Declaration of That's phenomenal. I'm 62 years old, damn it! I'm 62 years old, damn it! Fire! Yes, you are. I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I'm going to talk about all this. I'm going to talk about all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. What What's your name? What do you call about? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia, only different, you know, but, you know, men, M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word, only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcast is same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. Uh, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. Oh, you know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So, less of that club. the guy I was telling you about. I right, listen, this guy he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's capo, Tony Cipriani. Yeah, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car, Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay?
a very emotional piece. Molto adagio, lovely, twinkling, radiant. Wait here, keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, then I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thiazide, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercise. That's right, honey. Then I found the dormitron. You see the new technology? Get us out of here, kid! Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the dormitron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've... 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1 800 Sleep Off Lard or visit www.sleepofflard.com. The triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later. Give them something to launder. It's their own blood stained clothes. And not. But the wonder for Aspen's on demand. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological. Protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me. Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. sense of teamwork? My friend Joey. I'm gonna prove myself. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion, really, I do, but what will people be marching for? Now 
out it's uh, the big 4-0 and it's, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Aris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you can find Aris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. What is salary and benefits? I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris running shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to petsovernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books in the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Lazlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Lazlo, actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Lazlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Lazlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. And it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That though, a closed mind is like a closed fist. And karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like it. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around. <laughs> A gun. You want knowledge? Get yourself the science. Enjoy, my brethren. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, just the guy I need to talk to. All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? Oh, you can eat breakfast, trust me. 
chicken. Can we get some bacon in here? Yeah, though, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found... I don't know where I am, and I'm hungry. This is Chatterbox, you're on the air. Hey, Leslo, that last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you think him up from? Hey, that wack was had going on about killer bees. What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees, uh, they pull some artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Last well, it's all part of the government. You know, I really like working here. The station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging. I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Cherokee, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? 
Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. Too much blood, 